I see you stag you to Laurie Nolan there. Now the Pigeon Fanciers weekend is taking place behind me. We took a look around, see what was going on. To join us in the Empress Ballroom for Pigeon Fanciers Weekend. I'm joined by David Trippett, of course, organiser of the event. David, firstly, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. Well, uh, I just wanted to talk, sort of talk about the event. I mean, this event's been going on for many years. Just talk to us a bit about how this event started. We actually started 53 years ago in Doncaster. Uh, we used to take over the old the race course there. But in 1977, we attracted an international event uh, to be held in the UK. And because the race course wasn't quite big enough, we came, we, we tried to find somewhere which was bigger, and we ended, ended up here in Blackpool, at the Winter Gardens, in this magnificent building that we have here now. Um, since then, we've, we've been here for 40 odd years now. We are perhaps, I think, the biggest pigeon show in the UK, and probably one of the biggest in Europe as well. So we've made our way up to the Spanish Horn now. I'm joined by Helen. Helen, can you just explain to us what we're, we're seeing in here? Okay, so this is the judging of um, fancy pigeons. So we probably have um, about 90 different breeds of fancy pigeons here today. And we're just working our way through the judging process. So what are fancier pigeons then? What is the sort of difference between fancy pigeons and... And the racing uh, pigeons? Yes. Okay, so they've all got different breed traits. So some will be um, ornamental, so they'll have a really strong structure. Some will be based on form, so body type. Some will be based on um, blowing ability, so we have um, blowers on show and also different coloured pigeons. So there's 10 sections in total on display, so 10 different types of fancy pigeons. You are currently judging one of the pigeons. What are you looking for at the minute? Well, this is a Jacobin, and you've got to have the overall stance, like legs in line, and you've got to have a nice round mane. This one's a bit loose in the back, but it's a nice bird. And you see, it's not as round as that one there. So you've got your white head, you've got to have a good rosette there, and it's the overall impression of it. 